Hi guys, today is August 20th and I want to talk about my Carolina Skift. Uh, this video is mainly to get to the uh, warranty department of Carolina Skift. Uh, this boat I bought brand new on Wednesday. Um, have not had it in the water. It's still running with six minutes. Not even uh, much time. That's how I got it. I haven't even cranked the engine up. So uh, I'm looking at warranty issues without even bringing the boat in yet. Um, so let me first start with the uh, self bail. Self bailing on the deck is one of the big things here. Um, we'll turn around to the Carolina. This is a 24 foot. It slowly, slowly drains out. When I have the water hose in here, the deck fills completely up until it starts pouring out of the port side. The starboard side is clogged. I had already called that in. Um, they had told me that I need to take it in for service, have somebody take care of that. Um, they'll send them a new uh, check valve and, and hose system to do that. Um, kind of uh, upsetting, but it is uh, how that works. So um, I live like an hour to hour and a half away from the closest dealer. Start with the defects on this. Um, let me start with the stuff that I've fixed so far, which I had, shouldn't have to. Every one of these gaskets were bulging out instead of them being seated and then then tightened down. The gasket was just shoved in there and tightened down. So instead of it uh, setting in there properly, they just allowed it to bulge out. I have pictures of that, but um, I took care of this. Um, every one of these latches as well were hand tightened. The only latch I found that was not hand tightened is the one on the lift console. That one was actually snug and tight. These are all I could take my hand and spin off the uh, nut ring and that was basically it this particular one was turned in a 20 degree angle or so it wasn't even square with the deck so i fixed all that tightened them all up i cannot even get the cushions out this this rest cushion pull the pin lift up on it yank up on it i don't want to feel like i'm going to tear the cushion off it won't come out uh, this one's the same way i can't yeah, you know, that one I could barely even get the pin in. It's so tight. This one, the pin comes out like it should, but when you go to lift the cushion out, <clears throat> it won't even move. I mean, it's not even moving at all. So these cushions, I guess, need to have somebody pull them without breaking them. So I'm gonna tear something loose, I think, and then uh, lube them so that they they open and close properly. Uh, another thing that I I did fix uh, was the bow eye. It was hand tight. These are not just nuts that came with it. This is a nylon nut here and a nylon nut here. The nuts that came with it are underneath the plate. The way it was installed was the bow eye was brought in. This plate was laid on top of that directly. And then uh, instead of putting the nut on and then the plate, it was just laid directly on it. And then there was a nut here. It was hand tight um, so when I have it on my trailer and I look at the bow eye when there's pressure on it I can see it up inside the bow eye um, it's actually was pulling out of the hole so I went ahead and fixed that I used the OSI max white caulking filled into the hole uh, on top and bottom and around the uh, plate on the exterior I'll show that in a few minutes and um, then brought in the, the bolt, snugged it down tight behind here, and then added this you know plate, then put on lock washers and nylon nuts to keep it from coming loose. And then I put on this acorn nut, it's a little bit in the way, but um, it will keep the rope from chafing. This bolt side stuck out about a quarter of an inch to half an inch, and a quarter about three eighths. Uh, compared to this one's nice and flush, so I was worried about the rope getting chafed uh, hitting that hitting that um, While we're in here, I'll show the cracks um, Apparently my shadow is in the way there I have cracks stress cracks already in this bow locker and that's um, Not even been on the water getting beat up So that drain has cracks around it. That's uh, a little unsettling I should probably leave these open to let them dry out some since I got good cleaning. 
seat cushions I have in the garage. Um, one thing that was kind of disappointing was Christian at the boat place in Papano Beach where I bought it told me there was it only comes with one seat. But I'm reading on the specs, it's supposed to come with two fishing seats. So I got shorted a seat, fishing seat, uh, bow lockers. They're working well. Do appreciate the hydraulics on those. Uh, this also didn't come with a bucket, which I think there's supposed to be a bucket in here. But I guess uh, I should have known that before I went and bought it because <laughs> the stuff was missing. It's all in Pompano Beach, which is four hour drive from here. All right, so on the, uh, let's go with the LED lights. LED lights, um, this light's not working here. Um, that's on the starboard side cup holder bow. And come back here. The LED light inside this locker on the starboard side. actually it has power to it you can tell but there's only one led that slightly lights up under there um it it's it's like very dull it's not obviously working properly and another led inside the aft locker on the starboard side this one up inside here is not working the one next to the battery switch So those LEDs are not working, and then this LED for um, the docking backside is uh, only 50% of it works. The two, as I'm pointing this at it, the two on the right um, work. The two LEDs on the left do not work. And I'll turn it on and show. Yeah. Um, the lights are now not working on this. I don't have any lights, but the switch is on. So I guess that's another another defect, another problem. I have no lights. This one you can see algae growing all up in it. It's pretty nasty looking and being brand new to me. 2022 boat <laughs> and uh, let's see t-top lights all work blue and white underwater lights we don't have any of those but you can see there's power to it this one's lost power altogether because it's not even lining up or ground the blue lights those are for underside I believe yeah, those are working. Uh, the LED and the cup holders are working here. I can see the LED and the cup holder here is working, but this LED and this cup holder is not working. Um, the LED and the cup holder for uh, the console, this one here was flashing, flickering. I tapped on it and it finally started working. Um, it seems to be working good now, but uh, it might need to be replaced. Um, it's kind of disheartening that you had to you know, tap on them and stuff. They hadn't even been used. So all the cup holders here work. And the one over here works. Okay, so one cup holder LED light is out. That's a recap. Storage locker here, light, LED light out. Uh, one of the LED lights, the one closest to the battery shutoff switch, and the uh, aft is out um, for the underside. And half the LED light here didn't work. That's on the uh, back to the docking, and now the docking lights all together are not working. No power. Let's see, there's power to this one. Let's see, the light turns on. Underwater lights. There's a switch here, but I don't have any underwater lights, I guess. There's nothing back there. Uh, T top lights, they're working. But my dock lights have stopped working. So, new problem dock lights are in up. Never in water. So, 
that is part of there and so let's go over the uh bolts and nuts the t-top has a bunch of bolts and nuts put in there uh, they've been cut off and there's like a razor blade pieces of of bolts sticking off of them uh, they're cut but they weren't ground or rounded out so that they'll actually um, not cut you so all these things have gnarly cuts on them very unattractive um, and dangerous so you put your hand up there especially being wet it'll slice you open uh, being soft skin when you're out in the water for a long time table uh, I'll bring this up. This isn't something I'll, I'm going to take care of, but the edges here are super sharp. You take your finger and, and just slide it hard against it, it's going to cut you. Um, so that's something that Carolina's Gift should take in consideration. Just do a quick grind around it or uh, bevel around the edge so that when your legs are underneath it and you're having lunch and you get up and go move your legs to the left or right, you don't slice your leg wide open. I don't know if that could be a lawsuit, but everything's a lawsuit these days. All right. I mentioned the cushion. The cushion has a tear in it, but that I noticed, and uh, the dealer gave me some money off for that cushion because he said, I guess, that would be his his fault. All right. Gel coat. We already talked about cracks in the bow locker. Um, there's patches that, I guess, were started and didn't get finished. Here's a really gnarly one up on the top of the T-top. You can see that's the roof of the T-top on the side. Pretty gnarly patch. I have uh, to exit the boat. I'll show the other defects in the hull on the outside. Where... Uh, here we go. There were patches that were started to be done. Right, let's go from the uh, bottom of the transom here. Let's see if it'll focus in. There's a patch there. Needs to be done. And a whole lot of scratches facing downward. I'm not sure what that's from, but that could probably be just buffed down and cleaned up. Um, that's one patch. In the blue over here, there's a couple of spots that this is on the port side. Um, there's a black speck right here. I'm having a hard time seeing if it's viewing because of sunlight glare. But there's a black. It, it looks like it's chipping out. Can't tell for sure. Just under the rub rail. But it almost looks like a chip or a, a dirt in it. One of the two. Dirt in the mold whenever it went in. Front bow. I focus in on that. There's a patch here. And a patch right here. I have a fairly good size chip right here. I'll try to get it to focus in for you. There we go. Well, so, a decent size chip right here on the bottom of the keel. That's uh, an entrance. Here's the outside of the bow eye. Um, as I said, I, I reset it, snugged it down, uh, didn't over tighten so it won't crack, but snugged it down and then put some locking, lock nuts behind it. So, nice clean look, how it should be. But unfortunately, I had to take care of that. Uh, so those are uh, the patches on the boat that need to be fixed. I'm not sure, and then of course the defect in the in the blue. I'm not sure why it's there, but also I have a defect, which isn't a horrible deal. But you can see the way they cut the stripe uh, went, and this is kind of dirty. This is the scupper that uh, the water's not coming out of. Uh, I put a a uh, flathead screwdriver on here a little small one and to pull this forward a little bit to see if it had uh, blockage in it and the whole scupper fell out literally fell out um and i had it in my hand and i had to reset it in there and it appears to be in there nice and tight but it did even i mean it literally 
if it was in the water, it would have fallen out and I wouldn't have had no scupper. Um, the other side, on the support side, that screw right there, it was loose. Whenever I did this, that little metal piece just dangled around and stuff. It was super loose, um, which once again, that's fit and finish um, for, for not, ex I mean, for the uh, not having uh, the stuff taken care of before the boat's being sent out. Uh, underneath the swim platform, similar problems. Screw hanging out here, screw hanging out here. No screw hanging out, not even into the nylon, so that one doesn't have anything keeping it from backing out. And another one where the screws is barely into the nylon. Um, these are super sharp, you can tell they were cut off. Um, and so is this one here, uh, that holds the rail. Um, I see there's caps up there up front, but none on the back. And some of these caps, you just slightly pull on them and they just fall off. They're not, I mean, they, they're they not going to stay on there. So um, I don't understand that concept. They had to be caulked on or something. But it is disheartening that, you know, these are installed and that's just not a proper install. Uh, the manufacturer of the nylon nut, they would say, that's not going to do its job whenever it doesn't actually reach all the way through. So I believe that concludes the video. Um, I have have uh, photos of all of this that I noted down to send an email out, um, but there's a lot of photos, and unfortunately, that takes um, takes a lot of time. Oh, there was another thing: the rod holder. Let's see if I can zoom in on it since I'm outside the boat. The rod holder on that side. You can see it there against the hull is missing both the screws so the top of it's not even attached to the uh, gunnel the bottom is but uh, as soon as you hit it, it just flops around um, so pretty disappointing to spend eighty thousand dollars on a boat and and get home and start cleaning and start looking at going wow um, all this stuff should have been taken care of uh, i believe i missed videoing these scratches too, um, right here at the very tip of the bow. Let's see if I can, because of the shade and stuff. See if I can get it. There's a lot of scratches going coming out from underneath the bow rail. They're deep. They're not something that could be just easily, easily taken care of. It might need some uh, fine grit sandpaper, wet sand it, and hit it with a buffer just to lighten them up. I don't think they're going to go away. I don't like any of that stuff being done because I know when you're doing that, you're taking gel coat away. But those are actually fairly noticeable and wax and everything's actually getting bedded into it. So it's easily seen whenever you're cranking the boat on the trailer. All right, once again, it's August 20th and that's my video. Um, Hopefully I can get the service done that's needed and it will happen in a fairly timely manner since I hadn't even used the boat yet. I'm, I just want to make sure it gets put into the system uh, before I even use the boat because I do not want uh, anybody coming back and saying, oh, well that was caused by uh, your you or misuse or something along those lines because obviously I don't, I wouldn't be able to... Uh, to um, handle <laughs> that I'd be pretty upset if they came back and said it was because of me when obviously this is something that's uh, should have been taken care of before it ever left the plant so all right well Frank's out and uh, we'll get another video in if uh, something doesn't come right um, or something something doesn't get taken care of like it should be